If every race was in a video game, what would their stats be? Let's start out with the blacks. HP, low. Turns out not having great access to healthcare means you don't live as long. Buffs, Johnson size. Debuffs, credit score, and fat white women. Strength, <laughs> I'm gonna say pretty high. Speed, high, but not high enough to escape their masters, apparently. Resistance, awkwardness. Black people are just born with a certain level of swag, and that max out their support levels. IQ, low. And don't blame me, you're the one skipping school. Sure, you come from a single parent household, with a father in prison, and teachers who don't want to put in the effort, but not getting good grades is still your fault. Oh, well, I'm smart. Okay, here's a math problem. You have $250, the stock market goes up an average of 7.5% a year. How much money do you have at the end of the year? The answer is nothing, because you spent it on a new pair of Jordans. Endurance, incredible. I mean, they literally built America. Luck? Terrible. To go from slavery to segregation to finally getting your own band-aid color is pretty unlucky. Stealth? Depends. In daytime, it's terrible. But nighttime, it's max. The only thing you'll see is floating Sauron eyes with an occasional puff from a Newport. Special ability? Better at all sports. Have you seen the top 20 basketball players? It's black eye, black eye, black eye, black eye, black eye, black eye. Random outlier? <gasps> Black eye, black eye, black eye. Next up, Asians. HP, massive. In the United States, they have the highest life expectancy. Probably because dying isn't nearly as bad as bringing your family shame. Debuffs, sorry Asians. God did you dirty in the Johnson department. Buffs, luckily to balance it out, he made every Asian child size. Strength, in relation to body weight, high. Compared to any black person, low. Speed, average. Unless it's a hot dog eating contest. Then they're an expert in farming. Resistance, proud parents. IQ, Asians are close to maxing out their IQ. I guess having your teacher beat you with a rod, then having your parents beat you with the same rod, is a good way to increase work ethic. Happiness, might exist if they had Christmas. You know why Asian kids don't believe in Santa? Cause they're the ones making the toys! Endurance, very high. Working in a sweatshop is hard. And I should know cause I've walked a mile in their shoes. Luck, average. Which isn't surprising considering most of them are bots. Special ability, invisibility. I don't even know why ninjas wear masks when you can just back up 10 feet into a crowd and completely disappear. Next up, whites. HP, above average. Buffs, jab applications. Debuffs, a girlfriend with no gag reflex. Strength, physically average. Strength in dominating other countries, max. Speed, like kids on Adderall, high. Resistance, accountability. IQ, average, as we have the smartest and dumbest people out there. I can't even believe Einstein and Vin Diesel are the same species. Happiness, low. You think it'd be high considering we conquer the world, but with every technology technological advancement, we just invent new ways to get depressed. Like my magic phone keeps buffering Django Unchained. Ugh, now I know what being a slave feels like. Endurance, average. Luck, max. Aside from being a man in a first world country, you can't get much luckier than being white. Special ability, winning. White people are like a DLC character that's just better than the rest of the cast. Don't believe me? Go to any museum and check out our KD ratio. Next up, Japanese. HP, well they have one of the highest suicide rates, so very low. Buffs, tentacle porn. Debuffs. Godzilla! Strength, pretty high, probably because they have a small hitbox. Speed, above average, unless it involves their Nuzuko body pillow, then it's feverish. Resistance, big titties. IQ, very high. Japan is on the forefront of technology. They got bullet trains, bidets in every hotel, and their sex bots don't judge you. <laughs> this doesn't normally happen to me. There, there, you tried your best. Would you like me to eat your butt now? <laughs> Yeah. Happiness, pretty low. Unless you get lucky and have two used panties dropped from the vending machine. Endurance, very high. Two nuclear bombs prove they're good at tanking. Luck, horrible. If you're a girl, you've probably been groped on a train. And if you're a guy, you can't even grope someone without them complaining. Special ability, if you put an unsolved Rubik's Cube in a Japanese woman's... <laughs> Sorry. This one's really stupid. Okay. If you put an unsolved Rubik's Cube in a Japanese woman's cooter, and it comes back solved, she's pregnant. Next up, Koreans. HP, well their life expectancy is around 83, so very high. Buffs, Gundam style, and BBQ. Debuffs, driving. Strength, it's hard to tell, because all the characters use the same skin. Speed, need for. Resistance, feeling loved. IQ, very high. Koreans tend to excel at math. Probably because their dog can never eat their homework. Happiness? Koreans have maxed out their sadness. In America, we're great at ending each other. But South Korea, they're great at ending themselves. Koreans have the highest self-slaughter rate, which might be because of their parents. Korean parents are born with disappointment in their children, which is a great motivator if you want your kid to become a CEO so he can jump from a higher window. Endurance? Very high. Every other week, their next-door neighbor threatens them with nuclear warfare, and yet, they still find a way to dance to shit music. Luck? Low. This is considered sexy in South Korea. The dude looks like a big toe that wished he became a person, then decided to have a sex change. Special ability? Can lower their frame rate when dancing. Next up, Mexican. HP? Above average. Buffs? Manual labor. Debuffs? Paying taxes. Strength? High. Cockfighting taught them to go for the jugular. Speed? Very high. Can complete any construction project in half the time of a white person. Resistance, birth control. IQ, low. If they were smart, they'd kidnap their racist farm owners, unionize, pull their money together, buy the farm they're originally working on, then 
hire another poor race to do the work. Happiness? Pretty high, which is surprising considering they spend most of the game completing escort missions. Endurance? Max. You ever seen a Mexican not hustling? You can call them drug dealers, criminals, bums, and they'd still be like, si senor, so the whole lawn and the hedges? Luck? Terrible. You're so close to America, and yet, so far. Special ability? Border crossing. Next up, Indian. HP? Well, they believe in reincarnation, so I guess that means they max out their HP. Once it goes to zero, the game just resets with a new character. Buffs? Krishna. Debuffs? Reality. Strength? It's gotta be high if they can drink their water and not instantly get diarrhea. <laughs> Speed? Slow. Too many people are playing Train Simulator, causing it to lag. Resistance? Spicy foods. IQ? Average. They recently landed a rocket on the moon, and yet half their population can't even spell rocket. Happiness? Low. There's no such thing as your own room in India. Just a spot on the ground. Endurance? Well, if we're talking about keeping their wife in check, then it'd be max. Luck? Very low. India is one of the most densely populated places on the planet, and they only have like seven toilets. Special ability can respawn with a different character. And lastly, Native Americans, who are in desperate need for a buff. Their HP is very low. They have the worst life expectancy out of all the races. Probably because a shaman shaking maracas doesn't help cure cancer. Buffs? Peace pipes. Debuffs? Spawn camping. Hey, what are you doing on my land? Strength? Low. You know what beats a bow and arrow? Any gun. Speed? Very low. Which would you rather? One horsepower or 640? Resistance? Fast travel. IQ? Low. If Pocahontas was smart, she would have blown her way to the top. Honey pot the enemy into revealing some of the war plans. But instead, she was too busy getting her clam wet, as her people were the ones actually getting fucked. Happiness? <laughs> Depends how good my trip is. Endurance? Very low. I'm pretty sure there's only like 14 left. Luck? Low. That dream catcher isn't preventing nightmares. It's making you live one. And special ability? Obviously, tax-free land. So after crunching the numbers, I can safely say the race with the best stats is... The Whites. Obviously, we always win. Sure, other stats may be better, but there's no patch notes for how broken we are. So that's my vid on which race has the best stats. Special thanks to at user dash... Uh, it looks like he threw his face on the keyboard for giving me this idea. As soon as I read it, I knew I had to do it. It's just so perfect for this channel. And just remember, if you can't get it up, it doesn't mean you're not a man. It just means you're buffering. Wait, I have some delicious updates. So many of you know I started this channel around nine months ago, and after making 80 videos, I've spent about $25,000. Now, to me, it's 25 grand well spent, as I'm super happy with how these videos have come out. I mean, who else is making videos about how to touch your first booby or how to increase the size of your Johnson? Nobody! One, because most people don't have the talent for it, and two, because advertisers don't like it. You see, most people will make generic eight-minute videos copying other people's ideas and attempt to give handies to the algorithm. That way, they don't have to come up with anything original, and advertisers will make it rain on their basic bitch ideas. But your boy just can't do that. When I hear an idea like how to bang your high school teacher, I just feel compelled to finger bang it into existence. However, this comes at a cost, and that cost being money. Like recently, one of my homies tried to hook me up with a Volvo sponsorship, but they denied my application. When I called them for further clarification, they told me my content was considered adult and therefore a brand risk. My response to them was, wait, didn't Volvo get caught lying about their emission standards, causing them to pay billions in fines? They're like, well, what does that have to do with anything? I said, well, you must see the irony of not wanting to fuck with me, but willing to fuck the planet. Hello? Hello? Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.